You want to start an alternate feature of the world series but don't know how? Here's the guide. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install paint.net, but if you want to make it, make an alternate feature of the world series, and you've already made other series with mapping, you probably already know this, but to download paint.net, you will go to the link in my description and click the link and download it. I will not download it for the purpose of this video, but it's pretty easy to download. And so we will look at the map. So this is the map that I have in the description under the template, which is a zip with other templates, including a map chat. But the map chat, I don't like to use. I usually use this one, even though it is inaccurate. I know it's inaccurate. And San Marino is a little way too big. But this is the map chat map that I created. And you can see it's a little um, way too um, transparent for the water. So we're going to fix that. So to fix it, um, what I found was best was to just fill in every single white spot on this map. I'm just kidding. Because that would take a while. And we don't want to be taking a while. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to boom. But before you do that, you're going to need to grab the black color also if you don't know where to get that color it's just the same color as the water from over here and you're just gonna need to do that just to sharpen it up make sure you turn anti eliciting off as this will ruin your map and so we're just gonna hit that and boom most of the world is already done but you need to look for any spots that you may have that it may have missed so in the case of South America it's a lot of spots and then there's this little spot in Mexico and then of course the Great Lakes but yeah there, there are a few spots like this lake that is like there I don't know the name of it and this area is a little hard to get so I just do that and I usually connect it so it's easy to do it and then boom do a little bit more of that and yeah I've almost already gotten every single piece of water and so you look over here you see Vesha's water Kazakhstan's water and then some more Kazakhstani water and this is the part of the video where I would usually speed things up but for the purpose of this video so you can find every single lake I'm not going to speed it up and then you have Lake Victoria out of Africa. You have this little lake, this river, not river. I'm pretty sure those are rivers. And then, of course, the Baltic Sea and that lake. And then you have gotten every single piece of water. But just to tell, you change your color to red and you do that. If there are any spots where water should be, then you did not do it correctly. But if there aren't, you're good to go. And that's how you set up the map chat. So, yeah. And then the first thing you do when you do an alternate future of the world is you usually start off from the day of which you're starting it. So right now it's April 27th. And so what's happening right now other than this? Uh, that was not supposed to happen. So, yeah. And then I have two colors that I pre-use that color which is pretty nice and this this color which blends with the water so to combat that I usually put the water on a different layer so I can use that color but I have a remedy for this video because I figured something out I'm pretty sure this color dang it it's not um, one of the blues is just not, just does not do water. I don't know which blue it is, but it, it, one of them. Maybe it's the purple. Because it's technically, no, it's definitely not the purple. Maybe it's that. That's more cyan, but no. But yeah, for the purpose of this video, I usually put it on a different layer, and so that is what I am going to do. But I need to save it, so I need to do that and then you grab this magic wand you do that and boom all the water has been selected all of it in the world including 
those pieces, which are not water, but it's close enough. So you copy it, you delete it, and then you fill in, you turn on anti eliciting and fill in all the black spaces. Then you create a new water layer, place the water on top, and put it below. And that is how that you fix that issue. And so I'm just gonna, so yeah. You usually start from the day of which you start on, and so th that I already mentioned the date. And so it's, I think the invasion looks something like that. And yeah, you do things, and so like, we're gonna like pretend Ukraine takes all of Crimea, takes the Donbass region, and then kicks Vesha out of Vesha, and then they do that. Now, of course, this isn't realistic, but I had to do something that makes a scenario. And then there's a very important way of planning it with Notepad plus plus is what I use. So you search up Notepad. I have two notepad, notepad plus, I mean notepad, and notepad plus plus. I always use notepad plus plus because it has, it has my alternate future of the world season two. And you can see every, this is how I plan it. And so like episode one, you do the alliances and then you just map out everything. And then if you want, you can um, write down peace treaties using this and I will put a download link down below. But this Notepad Plus is completely optional. Notepad Plus Plus. And it, it just makes your life so much easier because you could just open it up and it saves what you were on. Oh, and then let's and then let's say oh, I want let's say you say that you want to make a peace treaty. So I usually do that. That and then that. And I destroy the border. And then go to... For this map, I haven't done much on this map. So for this map, I think three works. And for this, you want anti-eliciting on. And so... Yeah. And then you click on that. Wait, no. You do a little that. And then... Before you connect it up, you do that. And then you connect it up. Very important that you do that on this map. Because then it looks a whole lot more natural. Now, of course, it doesn't look natural because... Yeah. But it looks a whole lot more natural. And then you would say, oh, let's say Vesha now invades Kazakhstan. And so you go to whatever size you want using... The two bracket keys, um, close bracket increases the size, um, open bracket decreases the size, and you can press control to go up in increments of five. And I forgot to turn off anti-eliciting, so I'm just going to do that. And then let's... And then you do that. Do you, oh my god. Then you do that, and then you create the new border. For this peace treaty, I'm just going to have them be annexing them. And if you don't want to do so, if you don't want to do, um, that's not supposed to happen. If you don't want to, um, like, what's it called? Like, mess around with other borders while you're doing this. Um, you can tune it down before you do the drawing borders. And I usually draw my borders, like, paused in OBS, which is what I used to record, because who doesn't? And, yeah, that's that's all I do when doing alternate future of the world. So, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And I'll see you guys. I can't say guarantee later today, but maybe later today, if not Thursday. And also, yes, I am still working on the alternate history of the world um, timeline. And before you leave, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And also, 
pineapple. Yeah, I forgot what your username was. You're welcome.